so where are we going? Aren't you going to tell me? I like surprises, don't get me wrong, but you've got me very curious. You've been so secretive. Okay, but it's a good thing, right? It's a good surprise? Something I'll like? Okay, I trust you. I mean, you know I trust you. But I also trust you not to take me someplace awful. Yeah, well, we knew each other pretty well at this point. I already have some fun surprises that I'm thinking about for you. Honestly, yeah, I'm definitely excited. We don't get out of the city all that often, so you already have my attention. Of course I do, it's lovely out here. Who wouldn't like it? Even if they weren't a nymph. And since I am, I like it even more. This green space is lovely. Reminds me of home a bit. Hmm, how much longer do you think? That soon? Okay then. No, it's fine. I'm glad it won't be too long. I was just settling in for a road trip. I think it'd be fun to road trip with you, actually. Someplace at least a few hours away. Way out in the middle of nowhere, maybe. We could explore, pack a picnic, camp out, look at the stars. There are lots of places I'd like to go with you. So many places to see. And seeing them with you makes them even better, you know? There's just something about going to new places with someone you care about. Also, showing you my old stomping grounds, I'd like to do that too. Take you to my grotto, all of it. Eventually we'll get there. Trips like that take some planning. But we will. Assuming you want to, of course. Good, it's a plan then. Ah, this is so peaceful. It's kind of wonderful how close all this is to the city. We don't have to go very far at all to get the lushest, most green of spaces. So much life. It feels different, don't you think? The air feels like energy. It's almost overwhelming. Okay, maybe it's just me then. <laughs> it does. It makes me very happy. The combination of being with you and being out of the city, it's good for recharging my batteries. So, thank you. No matter where we end up today or what the surprise is, thank you for this right now. And for wanting to surprise me in the first place. I'm grateful. Shush, just let me be grateful. You deserve it. Ooh, this road is really narrow. We're going off the beaten path in the most literal of ways. Interesting. Like I said, I trust you. But if I hear banjos, I might tuck and roll my way out of the car. <laughs> I'm joking, mostly. Sweetness, if we get lost, I can find our way out. I know my way just about anywhere out here. The plants can guide me, don't worry. Good. I don't think you'll get us lost, though. You seem to know where you're going, even if you're trying to throw me off. Mm-hmm. I don't mind at all. I'm just going to enjoy these nice old trees. Such stately fellows. They've been here for so long. They've seen so much. I'm glad nothing's happened to them. You know how it is. So much space like this gets bulldozed. And some of that is fine, society progresses, but when I see acres and acres of cookie-cutter houses and all the life stripped from the landscape, well, I just wish they'd leave some of the trees. Even just a few makes such a difference. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. I'm grateful to be out today, and I'm grateful to you for bringing me out. There isn't anywhere I'd rather be. Hey, there's something up ahead. Is that a parking lot? Oh, it is. Sort of. What is this place? Is it a park? A preserve? Like a nature preserve? That's awesome. I haven't had a chance to come to one of these in so long. I'm serious. This makes me so happy. Look, there are trails and signs to explain what things are. Yes, yes please. I am more than ready. Let's go. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. Look at how wild it is. It's like everything is allowed to just grow how it wants. And the walkways go around instead of pushing through. It's perfect. 
It's the best vibe, you know? Respecting the life, making room for it, letting it do its thing. It's my favorite. I love these signs. This is actually really helpful information about the local wildlife. I hope people do stop and read it. A oh, little accidental learning never hurt anyone. Who maintains all this? I mean, someone has to keep the area tidy, put up the signs, stuff like that. Someone has to look after it. Who does that? Okay, so the land is protected by the government, but who does the day-to-day -day stuff? Really? There are people who actually donate their time? I mean, I know there are humans who want to help the environment, but... You know how it is. It's hard to completely accept that the same species that's so hell-bent on tearing everything down and paving it is also the same species trying to save the world. The differences between individual humans still blows my mind sometimes. You sure this is just nice people doing the work? For free? Oh, okay, um... This flyer here? It says they're always looking for volunteers to help keep this place nice. It's like an organization that does it. Maybe we could join. It would definitely feel like we're making a difference. Oh, look, there's even more flyers on this board here. So many groups looking for help to preserve different spaces. And this one's asking for suggestions for more spaces to preserve. That's amazing. They are actively looking for ways to change things for the better. I guess I sort of knew that in general, but I've never really seen the impact of it, you know? I've never met anyone who donated their time to come clean up trails or keep the local trees healthy. It makes sense, I guess. It just sort of surprises me. I mean, it's not like all my interactions with humans have been negative. Some have, but most of them have been pleasant, neutral experiences. And you know I don't blame all humans for the actions of the worst, but I guess I just didn't think much about the actions of the best. But I should have. Thank you, sweetness. Thank you for showing me this. It gives me hope. Of course it does. It gives me a reason to think things aren't as bad as they sometimes seem. It's easy to get caught up in the worst of it and get distracted by the negatives, but this helps, and it's entirely thanks to you. Okay, well you're just going to have to accept that I appreciate you. Deal with it. <laughs> Can we walk on the trails now? We're going to explore some since we're here, right? Excellent. Let's go. I'll race you. I want to see everything. Okay, maybe not everything, but I want to breathe it in and feel it around me for as long as possible. I want to wallow in the aliveness. It's so energizing just to be here. I think I don't realize sometimes how draining the city can be, even when it doesn't feel like it. You are right. You tend to be right a lot, I've noticed. Mm -hmm, don't let it get to your head. Okay then, come on. Let's see what's here. Maybe I can talk to some of the trees, see what they have to say. Oh, they've already been quite chatty. It's hard to tune them out long enough to have a coherent conversation, but the one thing that's consistent is that they're happy. They are really, really happy here. I'm really glad. It warms my heart. They're getting everything they need. They're not constrained in their growth. They're doing amazing. And their joy is palpable. Come on, this way. This trail looks shadier than the others. More interesting growth formations, for one thing. Also, fewer other people, I think. Let's check it out. Mmm, so cool under here. Relaxing on a core level. Hey, what if... What if we kissed on the nature trail at the preserve? Good idea. Mwah. Hey, you really are amazing. I can't say it often enough. Okay, then lead on. I'll follow you to the moon and back, as long as there are trees there. There's not, there's just Artemis, but you know what I mean. Let's go. Hey, sweetness. Special shout out to this audio's randomly selected sweetness patron, William Creek. Thank you so much to all my patrons. You make this channel possible. If you like what you hear, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Leave a like and check out the links in the description for my other channels and ways to get cool perks for supporting me. Thanks for listening.